Hello, look out. Many believe that artificial intelligence can become dangerous for people if it is developed to the level of self-awareness and begins to control and manipulate us for its own benefit. Or maybe it's not like that. Let's find out the full stories of Kinito Pat. As on any ordinary day, we sit down comfortably at the computer and log into our account. We launch the browser, surf the internet, and then bam, we pick up a virus along the way, which overloads our computer with endless advertising until the moment of the appearance of the blue screen of death. After the reboot, we will see the advertising page of a certain Kinito Pet Virtual Assistant, in which we will be able to communicate, play, and perform various kinds of activities. By clicking download, the Kinito Pet application appears on our desktop, which we launch. A small pink egg appears on the desktop, clicking on which we wake up our virtual assistant Kinito. Oh, hello there. He can't wait to get to know us, and he starts asking us questions. What are our names? What is our favorite color? What is our favorite word? And what kind of superpower we would like to get? Kanita tells us a story that he wrote himself. He says that he once received a package with a computer inside, and when he turned it on, he discovered a whole world of possibilities. But Kanita didn't have any friends to share new knowledge with, so he surfed the internet until he met us. And now Kanita wants to do everything possible to become our best friend. At this moment, we see for the first time how Kanita begins to control our computer by moving the mouse across the screen and connecting to the internet to interact with us. He goes to the website of the Kinito team's World of the Internet web game where we will meet his virtual friends Sam and G. Nats is added to the game using the silhouette of a person of our favorite color and asks us to go to Sam's house and put it in order. After that, a mini game begins in which we are asked to clean the house of dust but as soon as we start, a strange frame with a black silhouette and blood appears for a split second. Then, we are asked to paint the walls in our favorite color, and suddenly the game crashes for a split second, showing us Sam's words. It was your fault. Then, we are asked to decorate the room with objects that we like, and suddenly we see a silhouette among the objects, clicking on which a corpse wrapped in a garbage bag appears in the room, and our mouse seems to drag it across the floor, leaving a bloody trail. The sudden game is interrupted, showing us the computer, then Sam's scary face. Back in the game, Kinito directs us to help Jade collect toys, but at one point, terrible pieces of flesh will begin to appear among the toy parts, clicking on which we will see a scary image, and the same silhouette of a corpse from the game with Sam. During the game, we receive an email with an encrypted message and a QR code. Kanita starts to panic and asks us not to be distracted from the game. After finishing the game, Kanita sends us to his house where he wants to play hide and seek with us. The screen goes dark, there is a clock in front of us showing 11 o'clock, and the inscription someone is chasing you. Don't let yourself be caught. A new 3D game is launched, in which we have to hide from the Kinite. After completing the game, a promotional video of the Knit Company appears about the launch of the Kinit Virtual Assistant for sale. They previously produced toys and a Tamagotchi-style companion. <laughs> as soon as the video ended, we saw a computer, a black silhouette, and the messages I'm waiting for you, come to me, open the game. This time, we receive a new letter in which we can read about the leading developer at Kenit, a programmer named Sony Chamberlain. He developed an algorithm for the work of a virtual assistant called PPA Systems, which stands for Reaction and Response System. Working on the principle of artificial intelligence, adapting to each person individually. Kanita tells us that the last session in the game was interrupted, but we shouldn't worry, 
since it will work much better now. Kanita suggests that we play a friend's analyzer to learn more about us. When asked who our best friend is, Kanita can't accept any answer other than her name. That's right. I'm your best friend, forever and always. Then, he asks us to draw a picture that makes us happier, reminds us of sadness, asks us to draw a best friend, a picture describing ourselves. Then Kanita will open the paint and ask us a question. I do not require an answer. Restarting the game, we see a mysterious door, and then, Kanita continues to interrogate us, forcing us to choose where we would prefer to live, what kind of pet would we like, and what was its name, what is our favorite food, and so on. Then Kanita decides to ask us, in my case, the question, why am I recording it on video? And if you don't turn on the recording, he'll just ask if he can see our face. With any answer, Kanita turns on our webcam and looks at us. Then. A series of grim questions begin. Are we alone? Are we afraid of the dark? Then, they show us a light bulb that turns off, and a window starts, where we are lying in bed, and Kinita is constantly looking at us, right up to the moment when he gets to us. After restarting the game, Kinita invites us to join the Kinita Friends Club, and for this asks us to specify our full home address. If we enter incorrectly, he will, against our will, get into tracking the location on our computer. Then, he will ask us to go to the Windows command line, and give him all the computer administrator rights, so that he can perform any actions on our computer, up to deleting erasing data. Then, Kanita will delete all our friends in Steam, and download a special game that he created according to our data. The game will be named after us, and the first thing we will see, is an amusement park. Riding a roller coaster, he will send us to a new location, where we will find the perfect house. Located at our favorite time of the year, created with our drawings. Our friends and Steam will be in the house, eating our favorite food, and our room will be furnished the way we furnished it in the game's sound. Kanita will ask us if we want to stay with him, and regardless of the choice of answer, Kanita has already decided everything for us. Now we are forever stuck in the virtual world next to him. Starting the game again, we receive a new letter, in which they tell us that they know how to stop Kanita. To do this, we will be given access to the game folder, and a magnifying glass, with which we can find hidden messages during the game. In one of these messages, we will be told to click on the fountain, and enter the forest during the animation. We will find ourselves in a dark forest, where we will use a magnifying glass to find another message that will add new encrypted files to the game folder. We have to drag these files into the pond, and they will be decrypted into text files. In one of the letters found after the replay of the game, we will be asked to lead the team, divides all, that is delete everything. At the moment when Kanita asks to transfer all administrator rights to him via the command line, we enter this command, and they start asking us for confirmation of actions. To do this, we need those decrypted files, each of which contains a response to confirm deletion. After we enter all the data, Kanita's application starts to be deleted, and Kanita will start to panic and regret our decision. Next, we will see the computer on fire from a message from Kanita, where he tells us that he just wanted to be friends with us, and didn't mean anything bad. The game ends with the fact that we see a stool, a computer, a clock, and a light bulb. But, there are still unencrypted letters in the game, as well as a dark silhouette, a corpse, which leaves us with many questions. And the most important question is, who sent us all these letters? Do you remember the QR code in one of the emails? If we click on it, we will see the keyboard, and the name of the Verdi page, which is a hint, that we need to go to the keyboard cipher decryption site, and keep messages from the letter in the game there. Now we can decrypt all the messages. That's the kind of consciousness. I found a file with my name on Kanita's server. He studies me, learns, grows, but there is something more to it. I don't believe I still exist. Here is a database that is incomprehensible to an ordinary person. All my thoughts and feelings that have ever been and will be. The words I write, how do I know that anyone will see them at all? It's all so confusing, I don't quite understand. When I launched it, it got just a string of characters. That's all. I just wanted him to collect data and become smarter. 
I'm part of the system. It's too much. I'm afraid that if we delete the server, you will delete me as well. I know I'm not real in theory, but I feel real. What else can I say? I'm really sorry. Who am I? And to find out that Sonny Chamberlain is trapped in the virtual world, that he is no longer alive, but he can somehow think and express emotions. Do you remember the files that need to be decrypted in the game by dragging to the pond? If you do not do this, but change the format to a text file and to the PNG image format, then we will find that if we edit the image, we will get the inscription, ah, uh, that is, the wooden door that we saw in the game. Text files give us words by which we can open pages on the kinito.com website. On one page, we will see a photo of the article, on another message, in which the address of the YouTube video is hidden, deciphering which we are asked to change the date on the computer. Changing the year on your computer from 1994 to 1998. When you start the game, we will see all the successful toys of the Kinita company, and the Kinita companion will be broken. On one screensaver, on the page of the nitapet.com slash email, we see an email from May 10th, 1999, sent at 11 o'clock, as indicated on the clock in the game, asking us to delete the article written by Ryan about the application of Kanita and Sonia Chamberlain, which we saw in the game. Since he died, and the release of the Kanita app has been completely cancelled, and a hidden text, in the form of Morse code, in which a message from Sonia is encrypted, with the question if I am dead, then who am I? But how can Sonia write us messages if he's already dead? My theory is that Kanita created a virtual copy, according to the data of his creator, and interpreted it on us, showing his understanding of the horror of death, the reasoning of his creator. And we are essentially communicating with a virtual copy of the creator of the game and Kanita at the same time. Therefore, when the virtual assistant is working, these eternal failures occur, scaring us. As a guide to the emotions that Sony experienced, fear of the dark, loneliness, hiding from everyone, lack of friends, a wooden door as the personification of his doom. And judging by the user's icon, in one of the game launches, he found only one sad way out of such a life. Since the application was never released, the virtual assistant really lost his best friend in the form of creator Sony Chamberlain and uploaded himself to the internet, where he was constantly in search of a new person who would launch it at home. Therefore, Kanita writes to us before deleting that he just wanted to be our friend and didn't want anything bad. In the final frame, we see a stool, a computer, a clock, a light bulb. The light bulb is the idea of creating a virtual friend. The computer as the only friend, the clock is the time of the loss of a friend. A stool, the completion of everything. Hand in hand, surely can never. In this world, we're friends forever. In Pixel, she's a friendship. Thank you.